Two Fox Track Kilo, I'm about to eight miles from Fuji, cross Fuji at or above 3,000, cleared RNAV DPS approach only one two half Moon Bay Airport. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. All right, aviators, welcome back to the finer points. So we've been hearing from a lot of you guys that you're getting a ton of value out of the flight videos and the real world flying scenarios that exist in our training and proficiency app. The app is called Ground School, so maybe you missed it, but you can get a free three day trial. Inside the app, there are two courses, all for one price, and both courses have flight videos. If you've never earned the certificate or rating, you'll get tons of value out of that but also real world flying scenarios that give you practical application of the stuff you're learning. So uh, even if you're an experienced pilot, you'll benefit from flying along there. And so we are hearing that that's working, you guys are enjoying it, and that's uh, really a thrill to me and all of the other great CFIs on the team. So we'll give you another sample here in this YouTube video. This is Half Moon Bay again on an actual IFR day. This time we're coming from the Northwest, flying the RNAV runway one, two approach. I'll just bring you guys along as it exists in the Ground School app. So check it out. Number two Fox Track Kilo, I'm about to eight miles from Fuji, cross Fuji at or above 3000, cleared RNAV DPS approach only one, two Half Moon Bay Airport. Okay. Uh... Cross Fuji at or above 3,000, cleared for the RNAV, runway 12 approach, Half Moon Bay, 172 Fox Track Kilo. Okay, we're going to go direct Fuji. Get our left turn, turn, turn here. Contact, open so we can cross Fuji at 3. I'm going I'm I'm to just hold my altitude here for a second. Uh, I do not love the how far out Fuji is and how far out we are, really. When they tell you to cross a point at the altitude, it sort of leaves your, you know, we're a thousand feet above that, so it leaves the descent a bit at your discretion. Um, and one other sort of risk management point today is that the winds are blowing us on shore, so that is nice. Uh, in the event we do have to turn around for some reason. All right, we're gonna hold that course. Super 4,100, correcting back to 4,000. Departure south of 4486. Can we I'm get gonna that fly frequency heading again? 205 here. Uh, I'm gonna try to bracket that course. So I'm gonna go heading 205. Now we're cleared for the approach, so we're gonna tune in there. But look at all the data that we have in the G1000. You know, your little path indicators here can help you figure out exactly what, you know, what your wind correction should be. All right. Anyway, when we get to Fudge C, so let's figure out what we're doing here. When we get to Fudge C, it's a left turn to 122. Uh, theoretically, at that point, we descend to 1,700 feet. And we make that descent aggressive because we are choosing to hold our altitude a little higher than perhaps we would if we were over land, right? So, all right, when we get to Fudge C, there's a left turn, 122. There is no time. The GPS will auto twist to 122. We are going to throttle back, descend 1,700 feet, and there is no talk. And you guys remember this glide path here on, 10, heading is, is advisory only, right? We don't have WAS. I don't, that's not, you can tell it's a different shape. It's like, it's something that Garmin gives you. It's, it's like the plus V signal, something that Garmin gives you as an advisory. So we don't have to follow that. Use caution if you follow that. Um, it's okay if you're using it to establish a stabilized approach. Just remember, it doesn't always hit the step-down fixes you need to hit everywhere. So double-check it when it's advisory only. All right. Now, Fudge C is not a fly-over waypoint. It's a fly-by waypoint. <laughs> so we can try to time this turn. Um, I think the G1000 will tell us. It usually counts down, like, make your left turn in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's think about our, let's think about our A's. We got through our ATIS, or AWOS altimeter. Uh, is already set to 9 or We're trying to shake this tree. We look for loose apples here. What did we miss? Uh, we got our approach briefing. How low is 680? How long is the waypoint? Which way is straight ahead to 700? And airplane is the last one. So lights are on. Right. No, keto heat is on, and we just have to do mixture before we get to the final approach fix. Okay, so there it is, left turn. 
122, returning not more than standard rate. Uh, Garmin calls it 124. Uh, you know, we'll listen to them. We'll follow by their needle here and just double check it. We're definitely supposed to be lower, so let's go ahead and power back. Now, this is where we're going to descend 1,700 feet. All right. We have LNAV. It's important that we see that linear scaling, right? So we know that we have LNAV minimums now. All right. There, I'll try that. Heading right there. Heading 130. We'll try to get that needle back. We'll zoom out on this page. Okay, now when we get to Jebzy, uh there is no turn. There is no time. There is no twist. <laughs> we will continue to throttle down to uh, our minimums of 680 feet. So this is a non-precision approach descent that I'm making right now, uh, meaning that it's it's at a rate that's slightly higher than we would normally descend on a precision approach. Our two fox truck kilo, uh, just return to this frequency if you do go missed, and uh, you can change to advisory frequency. See ya. Okay, thanks. Going to advisory. One seven two fox truck kilo. Alpha Bay traffic, Skyhawk 172, Foxtrot Kilo is approximately uh, six miles to the northwest, descending through 2600 on the RNAV runway 12 approach, Half Moon Bay. All right, well, we're just still coming up on the final approach fix we're here now. Uh, seven miles east of the field, uh, we'll call it five or five midfield and heard. When we get to Jevzy, there's no turn. There is no turn, there is no time, there is no twist. We'll throttle down. We have a 21 knot 21 wind on our tail, by the way. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. All right, so <clears throat> there is no turn, there is no time, there is no twist, there is no throttle. Actually, there is a throttle down to 680. Uh, there is no talk. All right, so 1.2 miles away from Jevzy. <clears throat> Still no runway yet, really. So this is where known power settings are going to come in really handy. You want to just be able to go right to the power setting that gives you the performance you want. That's why we work so hard on those configurations up front. All right, almost at Chevzy, there we go. And then we will also continue down now to 680. Um, I'm just going to step down, see how that advisory glide path goes away when you don't have WAS. That was a tease. All right, so here we are. Final approach fix means the mixture goes rich. That should be our last A for airplane. And we can descend all the way to 680 now. So how low is 680? How long is the runway waypoint? And which way? Straight ahead to 700. I'm going right now to a heading of 126. All right, let's turn on the airport lights here if we haven't already. That's pilot controlled, so just... There you go, that'll bring it up. All right, runway in sight, you guys. All right, so now with the runway in sight, that's why the last airplane, uh, the last A we do is airplane. Um, or we'll just land here, kind of straight in. Half of Bay traffic, Skyhawk 172, Foxtrot, Kilo. Two mile final, runway 12, Half Moon Bay. I don't know about you guys, but as I watched that sort of being my own double eye, there were a few things that sort of jumped out at me. Uh, for example, just to name a couple, anytime you hear an oral warning in the airplane like you get from the autopilot, you should announce out loud what it is just to bring some level of awareness to it. Slow yourself down a little bit. So even, you know, as I watch this, there's a couple times where I'm not quite sure if I heard it or not. Uh, so I would ding myself for that. Also, there was an important moment where I'm briefing ahead using the five T's, which is part of the finer points method of instrument flying and I'm speaking out loud and I say there is no uh, throttle and as soon as I say it I realize I'm wrong that we actually have to descend to 680 feet and I, I bring it up because in the single pilot environment it's important to speak out loud it gives your ears a chance to kind of cross check your mouth a little bit and we brief ahead because, you know, what, what I say is, you know, if you fix a mistake before you make it, is it really a mistake? So as long as you catch these things before you get there and execute the right actions when you get there, 
you're not behind the airplane. That's why we're ahead of the airplane. The way we do it in the app, we debrief all of the video flight lessons, including the scenarios. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please download the app. Uh, even if you're an experienced pilot, get a free three-day trial. Check out some of the flying videos and scenarios in there. I know that you will benefit from it. Certainly great for new pilots, but experienced pilots as well. Also, leave a comment below if there's a video you'd like to see. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little alert bell so you get notified of uploads, and uh, most importantly, until I see you again, be safe and fly your best. Thank you.